mouth-watering stuff indeed. But right now, we are chilling out with some of Bob and Bella's best friends, and we're getting to know yet another very interesting breed. We're talking about the bull mastiffs this morning, big dogs, a little bit scary dogs as well, but we have Sharon and Bernard this morning just to tell us a bit more about this very unique breed. Guys, good morning and welcome to Expresso. Thank you. Good I just want to say before we start, I'm, I'm taking her with me. All right, she's, <laughs> she's mine now. Okay. <laughs> nice, nice. Guys, welcome again. Tell us, a, tell us who we have here before we start our chat, starting with uh, this little one here. Okay, she's Pink Ribbon, and yes. she was born on New Year's Day. On New Year's Day? Yes. Ooh, so wow. She's five weeks old yesterday. Oh, and then we have Liberty you. Bell, who is yes. uh, known as Libby, and we have Durango Duke, it's known as Duke. And he's three years old, she's 18 months and yeah. five weeks. So that That's gives you an it. idea. And he's oh. a male and she's a female. Yo. I must be honest, when, when uh, Bernard walked on, the set, on set this morning, you know, I, I was a little bit hesitant to approach Duke because yes. just the sheer look of them, but they look kind of like, like chilled out. They, they're yeah. quite up easygoing dogs. They really are, yes. They are, yes, yeah. yes, yes, yes. They're a combination of the English Mastiff and the English Bulldog. They're both chilled out dogs. And yeah. they just look scary, but they're not at all. Yeah. You know, it's the face and the maybe a little bit of drool. <laughs> coming yeah, out. Yeah. Tell me a bit about the breed itself. I mean, where did it originate? What were they bred for initially, being such large dogs? Well, they were bred in the 18th. They, they came to the fore in the 18th century in England and they were um, used on the landowner's land yeah. to flatten intruders and they, were, they, they, they approached the intruder very quietly. They're very quiet dogs mm -hmm. and then once they flatten the intruder they start barking. Wow. So they don't generally bark. Have you heard them barking this morning? I haven't. They, they, they're quiet. They're yeah. very quiet dogs. And uh, then the, the intruder, the landowner actually used to sit on his front patio with his hand on the dog's forehead, if you yeah. can do that, Van, not on Duke's forehead. And when he felt a wrinkle appear, he'd know there's someone approaching the land. Wow. And um, they generally don't have much wrinkle on their faces unless intrigued. When they're intrigued, the wrinkle appears. Sure, okay. And um, they're very, very fearless dogs, very confident. Um, I never <laughs> home my puppies to homes where people are away from home from 8 to 5 because they okay. love human contact All and right. human um, mm -hmm. company. Mm -hmm. Very loyal family dogs, very, very loyal family dogs, but instinctively will guard you when they feel that so you are in, when you fear. Bred, bred yeah. for guard dogs. Absolutely. I can say. You, you are from La Gratitude Bull Mastiffs. Mm -hmm. what, what made you get into breeding with Bull Mastiffs? What is it about them for you? Well, it was actually an accidental mating many, many years ago, and I loved having the puppies. And uh, then I just started trying to find better partners for my females yeah. that will improve the breed standard. That's one of my puppies from three years ago, which I think was a great success. <laughs> and uh, so I just try, and it gives me great pleasure to see them growing up and staying in contact. And yeah. the owners always seem to become my friends ah, because they don't have a <laughs> <laughs> they don't have a choice. And uh, we just love them as much and uh, keep in contact and share their personalities as uh, uh, yeah. with each other. Stunning dogs. Bana, let's, uh, let's chat a bit about Duke there. You got to know Sharon through Bull Mastiffs. That's what right. is life like living with a big dog like a Bull Mastiff well, like that? Uh, first of all, he's a companion to yeah. me and my wife. Uh, my wife uh, is at home, so um, she uh, enjoys him uh, 24 hours mm. uh, at home. Uh, uh, he's a companion, and I just can't think uh, living without Bull Mastiff. It's our second one, mm. and uh, with the uh, passing way of the first one, it was yeah. quite a different... Uh, way of living without it and uh, yeah. Sharon luckily helped us with uh, wow. uh, rescuing us uh, uh, with this uh, uh, beautiful yeah. dog. Nice, so, so he's mm -hmm. three years old now and you say he's also a top show dog. Yes, um, uh, I'm happy to say that he's a, a national champion and uh, Sharon also introduced us to uh, showing dogs which is mm -hmm. a different uh, way of living and uh, yeah so it's not only just a, a dog, everyday dog but it's also a show dog. Ah, uh, lovely. Let's talk a bit about some of their needs, because, I mean, they're large. I'm sure they, they eat a lot. They need a lot of attention, like Sharon said. Exercise needs, and how are they with kids as well? All of that in one. Well, uh, I'm sure that if any toddler would come now, um, he will be able, to, or she will be able to yeah. climb onto his uh, really? back and uh, go horse riding. He will allow it, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> they're fantastic children, dog company for children. Yeah. Yeah. They don't, um, they're not skittish dogs. They can let yeah. a cracker off next to them. They'll yeah. just stand. They might have for about two minutes look in that direction and say, what was that? Yeah. Very s so because they're not skittish, they won't snap very easily. Yeah. So they're very safe with children. Um, generally, you can see they haven't got very active mouths with the flu, you know, so they won't yeah. draw blood that easily. Yeah. Um, 
They do have their health problems like any big dog. Um, when one goes for a puppy, one always checks out the parents' genetics with the hips and right. elbow dysplasia. They also, one must be very careful, stomach torsion. Uh, for example, I never feed my dogs an hour before a walk or an hour after a walk. But that is with all big dogs, even Labrador, because of stomach torsion. And uh, that's a great fear. The bull mastiff also only lives to about 10 to 12 years. We've had a 16-year-old that passed away last weekend, which mm. was a, a record wow, in bull mastiff. That's, that's quite yes. old for a big dog like that. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. But otherwise, they're very healthy, and yeah. they just love a walk every day. They lie upside down under my curtains, and I've got four big dogs yeah. in the house, and, uh, and they just their eyes follow me. If I'm going down the passage, they reconsider, is it worth getting up and following Sharon down the passage? <laughs> is she coming back soon? Oh, they, um, they, they seem like thinkers. Yes, they seem they like do. thinkers. Oh, man. They don't waste their energy. No, not at all. Guys, thank you so much for coming thank in. Just you. talking a bit about this amazing breed, because if you didn't come in, you know, people have a, a, a different perception about these mm. dogs because they're scary, they're angry. They're not the case. They are placid, easygoing dogs. Beautiful, but great guard dogs. If you want to know more about them, we'll put all Sharon's details on our website, expressoshow.com. You can get in touch with her right now, though. Time for a very quick ad break. We'll be right back. Share the love with South Africa's most loved dog food, Bobtail, for strong South African dogs. Still to come this